Congress, the president, joining me now to discuss Republican Congressman Sean Duffy of Wisconsin. Republican uh, Congressman, in this case, it's not President Trump, it's Citizen Trump. Uh, how does that make a difference with respect to what the House is trying to get here? Well, let's first be clear, Charles. There's no legal requirement for the president or any presidential candidate to turn over their uh, there are tax returns. Now, uh, there's been history where our, our presidential candidates have turned over their records, but it's not required. Uh, so Donald Trump says he's under audit and not going to turn over the tax returns that have been requested by Democrats. And because President Trump hasn't turned over the records, one, the Democrats are now going to go to the IRS and try to get those tax records from the IRS. And number two, they're going to go to uh, his private accountant, his, his business accountant, and try to get it from his accountant. Um, and so uh, there's no legislative purpose behind which the Democrats are trying to get the tax records. What they're trying to do is uh, harass President Trump for no good reason. Um, and so, listen, I, I think this is going to play out in the courts, and hopefully the courts uh, will be smart and say, listen, uh, Donald Trump is a private citizen uh, or as a president has no legal duty to turn over his tax records, and you, the Congress, don't have any legitimate purpose for or seeking those records but for harassment. It certainly does look like it would open up uh, the sort of can of worms that, uh, you know, we use the term slippery slope far too often, but if the Congress can just say, hey, we want to look at these records so we might decide, because uh, typically there would be evidence of something and then you say, well, we're following a path, but in this case, they're looking for evidence of something. Right, there's nothing. So, I mean, when Republicans take control of the House, we say we want to go after Nancy Pelosi's tax, rec tax records or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's tax records. I mean, we all fill out financial disclosures. Uh, they're pretty broad-based, but give you a rough picture of, you know, people's income and what their expenses are and what their assets are. And Donald Trump filled those out like every member of Congress and every senator. But you're right. Do we want to start using the tax code and filing tax returns to be used for political purposes? I agree with you. The term is used way too much, but it's true. This will turn into a slippery slope that uh, has political right. uh, repercussions that last long, way longer than President Trump. In the meantime, Democrats, well, they're still not on the same page, right, with, uh, with respect to what to do uh, with the Mueller report. Uh, you know, some want to, you know, continue to, to look at impeachment. In the meantime, I'm not sure if you saw this, but others on the left overall have actually taken to harassing Robert Mueller. I want to share a sound bite with everyone here. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Will you testify before Congress, sir? No, no comment. Are you sure about that, sir? Sure. If, no if he were anybody but the president, would Mr. Trump be indicted, sir? Now that you've finished, now that you've finished, now that you've finished the, uh, Sir, why didn't you make a recommendation to Congress one way or the other, sir? Are you going on vacation at least somewhere? Did the Attorney General accurately characterize your positions on conspiracy and obstruction, sir? That's, uh, that's a greeting you got coming out of church on Easter. Uh, Representative Duffy, what do you make of it? Yeah, Easter Sunday, you're going to go after Bob Mueller. You can't go to an Easter service in peace. He's going to be ha harassed by left-wing media. Uh, listen, they, 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 they can't take uh, the Mueller report for what it is. I mean, you have Democrats who are so vested, the liberal media that were so vested in thinking they were going to take out Donald Trump uh, because of the Mueller investigation, and which, by the way, you've, you've commented on this before, Charles, but uh, if you look at colluding with Russia, this was Hillary Clinton who got uh, dirt on Donald Trump from Russia. Built the dossier, started a fake investigation. Donald Trump is cleared on it, and now they want to go after him for obstructing their fake investigation? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, they won't let it go, but the, the, the real story here is that the heart and soul of the Democrat Party is with impeaching President Trump, and they won't let it go. And even in the more moderate districts from members of Congress who have a lot of Republicans, the more, the more vocal uh, supporters are the people who want uh, Donald Trump impeached. So they, they can't let it go. They're going to push it. And w why not talk about impeaching President Trump? Why not talk about the Mueller report? Because you can't talk about the right. economy. You can't talk about the stock market. You can't talk about wage growth um, and job growth in America with Donald Trump because he crushes Democrats. And they have, no, they have no solutions, no ideas legislatively on how to make it better because we've done so well as Republicans. They have to go to, to, to their old uh, home run hit of Let's try to get him on collusion or obstruction. Well, it it, uh, it could be a home run ideas. hit. You know, I'm an old Reggie Jackson fan, and he had the most prodigious home runs or the most prodigious strikeouts ever. So they better be careful <laughs> trying to swing at this bad boy. Although we should say Nancy Pelosi, Cindy Hoyer, and others are, are against this. Congressman Duffy, always great they having you on. We appreciate it. it. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Charles. Hey, new